Come on. <laughs> The shades on as well, bro. Like, what the hell? Why are you always why are you trying? Try like no, I'm trying to be like you. Why am I? I see, but he's, he's coordinated right now. Red hat, <laughs> red babes. Hey, I'm gonna show you the babes after. About like, he's trying to make it seem like hey. I'm stunting right he's now. He's like, oh, I'll come on a subtle thing. When you know when people say they come on a subtle thing, it's not subtle. <laughs> it's not subtle. Yeah, I, do, I just don't want to come across like a like egotistical prick. Like, that's not me. Man, this this is what the scene is about, bro. You got to show your stuff. If they don't like you, they can suck their mums, bro. Straight up. I wouldn't say it so much like that, but like, I'll have that energy same way, I guess. <laughs> well, J Bills from me to Spotlight UK reunited with Small Spot and J in the building. Hi, my God. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Um, the last time I saw you was when you had your fight against Fotsa G. Uh, we haven't had, had a chance to catch up since then, so just wanted to round up like what's been happening with you ever since, because, I mean... Firstly, talk to me about like the experience that you had with Foxy G because, you know, we spoke afterwards. You know, you still had that night, great presence about you anyway. Like, how did you feel? Because a lot of the interviews that you said that you were pretty emotional. Yeah, I was just um, I wasn't myself. Um, so I couldn't put all the blame on me, man. I'm, I'm gonna put all the blame on me. I, I didn't go into that fight, doing what I had to do. I went in there and I was like, I'm gonna scrap. And obviously, it ended up how it ended. Um, and that was it, man. I just need to keep composure and keep cool. Yeah. I think that that was my issue on the day. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm honestly really cool. Yeah. What was it that changed? Because during fight week, on every fight week you had so far, there's like an intensity about you that we know about it. But then when it came to fight night, that kind of all sort of switched a bit and I wasn't sure. I was very chilled, bro. I was, I was a bit too chilled, too composed. I think I needed to be like, I needed to be a bit more edgy and switched on. But um, I got in the ring and I was like, yeah, okay, we're gonna do our thing. I think there was, it, it's just a learning curve, man. I think that's what boxing's about. You need, to w you need to win some, lose some. And I think losing, it's not losing. For me, it's lessons. Yeah. So I just wanted to learn, literally. Because, I mean, you've only, you've only been in this game for a little while. Uh, obviously, we know the calisthenics background, but you know, in terms of boxing, it hasn't been that long for you. So, you know, we w there was a lot of people that would expect it for you to be the favorite against Fox. Obviously, Fox is now, oh, oh, there's a lot going on at the moment. Um, but obviously, you know, there was a lot of people that said that you were the favorite, and then Fox came out on top for that fight. Um, you know, how have you, how have you put things in perspective for you in terms of going forward for future fights? Just stay, stay switched on, stay mentally strong, and um, stick to my game plan. Don't go in all at war. I, I was just straight one into war. When all I had to do was box, and I would 100% beat him. Um, but it just happens, bro. It happens. I'm I'm four wins, one loss. I can't complain, man. I can't complain. And it's just good to be on a platform like this. You know what I mean? And uh, I, I saw that you and Fox like embraced afterwards uh, after the fight. So you know, it, 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 you know, obviously, you know, no friends up until fight night, and then like you guys embrace. So how do you feel about Fox's progression as a fighter? Like from your perspective, like where do you see him going? Obviously he had his fight with Evo Hero recently. Yeah, I'll be real bro. Um, before, I think it was like six, seven months before our fight, we sparred and it wasn't a good spar for him. Definitely, he, 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 can, vouch for you. he can vouch for it. Um, but then it comes to fight now, he was a completely different fighter and I completely rate the fact that he did that because he, he progressed. He learned, he became a better fighter, more smarter. And, you know, I'm good props to him, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm always the guy to be like, he done well. I'm never gonna take that away from him. 100%. It's, it was more me, I done absolutely fucking shit. Um, but that's the athlete in me. I'm never gonna say, oh, it, this, 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 this. It was all me, I made the errors and I paid for them, straight up. I mean, of course, like the lightweight tournament, uh, that's been going around at the moment. Um, have you been paying attention to the lightweight tournament? Obviously, you know, you had like Joey Knight, Joey Knight with a knockout to Baby Hulk. And ironically with that, like there's been a lot of talks of ideas of you and Baby Hulk to fight. Um, you know, what did you make of the lightweight tournament so far? And is Baby Hulk like a fight that you do want to approach? Oh, 100%. I definitely want to fight Baby Hulk. I feel like we should do it. Uh -oh. yeah. I feel like we should do it for the small community. No, not small community. I feel like we should do it for the Short Kings, man. Cause I the Short Kings, 100%. Yeah. There you go, there you go. Oh, hell yeah. He's, he's five foot, I'm five foot two. He can definitely make to 125. I'm, I'm, I'm naturally 125, 120. I definitely think we can make it a massive fight as well. Um, and who knows? You never know what will happen. I think we're going to come out all at war. Um, and yeah, I, I, the lightweight tournament, I feel like 
I feel like little Cray Cray and Yudi should have been on the other side of the bracket. I, I, I agree as well. Because the way that the fight was going, it looked like it was fight of the night, personally. And then unfortunately, the bomb scare happened. And obviously now they have to rematch, which, which sucks really, because we don't have a definitive answer to that fight. But as you've seen the fight, as it went on, where did you think it was going in terms of, you know, how the rounds were going? I think at the first two rounds was definitely a little, little cray cray winning, definitely by sure, by far. But then because of the bomb scare, I feel like now Yudi can adapt. He can adapt and learn because he had to actually had, he had the feel of what, what little cray cray is like. I feel like he, he can adapt to that. Um, I really wanted to see, I'll be real, I really want to see little cray cray and Joey in the finals, man. Ooh. Like that would be a really, really good fight. Yeah. Joey's good. He's slick and he can box. I think that's the good thing about him. He's got good techers as well, especially like moving around people. Yeah, yeah, good movement, very slick, very tidy. Um, and he's smart. He didn't, he knew Baby Hulk is just an all out war kind of guy, swinging like a madman and he's stronger than Joey. But Joey knew that and he was like, you know what, I'm gonna use that against him, catch and counter, be a little bit more slick, be a bit more boxer. And look, it ended, it ended very, very quick. Um, I like Joey, man. I think he's a nice guy. I, lo I like little. He, he's a nice guy. I, li I like the guy. I like I like little Cray Cray. I love the guy. We've been following each other for years. Me and little Cray Cray. Um, I feel like because he do he loves calisthenics, and because I'm the world champ, he just loves there's a mutual yeah, respect yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And Joey, me and me and him came from the same place, you know. Um, yeah, I, lo I love them both. And and Yodi Gang, bro. I love Yodi Gang and Ace. But to be fair, I love them all. Um, it will look, it'll be good to see Ace Musa in the ring after. I was going to ask about that because obviously, you know, there's a lot of talk that Walid is considered the favourite for the tournament. Um, obviously, he'll be facing Ace Musa at some point. Um, I mean, where do you see, like, I mean, obviously, Joe's not, Joe Knight has won his fight. We'll see what Lil Cray Cray and Yadi Gang will go next. Um, obviously, we've got Argentinian King versus uh, uh, Mills with Max. Um, you know, where do you see the tournament going at this point as far as where, where you think it's going to lead to? I think if Ace Musa, because he, he was a really good amateur, bro. No one knows that about him. Me and my team know that. He was a really good amateur. And I feel like if he still has that in him, you never know. He might win against Walid. Um, with Argentinian King, I feel like he's, he's, he's more experienced than the, opponent, the new opponent that he's got now. I really wanted to see him versus Tasmanian, Tasmanian Devil. Tasmanian Devil, yeah. That, that, there was a bit of a story there as well. They had both come from similar backgrounds, so yeah. it seemed like the vibe was set and was ready for it. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that Taz got uh, injured. Um, but it happens, man, it happens. I'm, a I'm actually itching to see I'm actually itching to see Yudi and Cray Cray. I want to see that because I love a skills bout. I love watching just pure tech and skill. You know, um, I think Joey will make it to the finals. I'll be real. I think he will. Okay. Um, but other than that, yeah, man, I'm excited. Yeah. I mean, seeing with you now, obviously looking all fresh, looking all fly at the moment, you know, every time, every time. I mean, where do we see your journey next? Because obviously, you know, you've had your reflection on your fight with Fox. Um, where do we go from here? Like, you know, where do you want to get to? Because you, you still are active and wanted to get back in the ring. Um, you know, obviously training with Yusef every day. Um, you know, where, where, where are we leading with you? I, I really want Misfits to do a lower category. I really want them to have a one, two, five division as the lowest, smallest category. And I feel like there's so many influencers out there that will be down for that, you know? So, um, I just want to get back in the ring. I spoke with Mams. I want to get back in the ring, have my, have my next fight, win, and then you'll see the massive difference. I'll, I definitely want to be back in a in a top five, top top six, top six in a lightweight category. Um, yeah, and I just want to be involved, bro. I j I'm just like, I'm, bro. The athletes in me is saying I'm not done. I'm never done. I'm a Spartan. It looks like you're never done. I'm a Spartan, bro. I died. Spartan! Oh come on, bro. I died in the ring. I wanted to die in that ring. Yeah. I w I didn't want to lose on points. Yeah. I didn't want to get outboxed. I know. wanted to put your all in I it. I know I'm a better boxer. I know, but I didn't do it on the night. I think that was my problem. Um, but yeah, man. Well, I mean, obviously, uh, found a few things from me. Uh, Salt Papi, uh, main event in on the card, uh, fellow Filipino. Yeah. Um, you know, facing uh, Ferrari in the main event, obviously, uh, Polish MMA fighter. Um, you know, he's got a lot more experience than Salt, but in terms of like combat sports in general, but obviously this will be the first time in the boxing realm for Ferrari. Yeah. Uh, for Salt, obviously, he's your boy. Where do you see that fight going? Obviously, this is a redemption arc for Salt. I, 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 I know Salt. And I know I think he can box if he just stays in his. I think that's the problem, like, with with influencers is we just want a war, yeah. and and no, no, not even influencers. Let me take that back. Filipino, right. 
Filipino the fight. The culture of yeah. Filipino want war. We just, we just want a war. Yeah. We just want to have a fight. We just want to have a scrap, you know? And I feel like if Salt just stuck to being Salt Pappy and being slick and counter punching, he will wipe the floor with this guy. 100%. I think Salt is a better boxer, by far. By far. I feel like the other guy is a bit more, got a bit more edge to him because of his combat sports uh, history. But I feel like Salt is a way better boxer. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, there are talks at the moment. Obviously, Adam Brooks is facing King Kenny. Um, you know, there are talks if, say, if Salt wins his fight uh, respectfully and the same if Kenny were to win his fight against Adam Brooks, the idea could be potentially of them two crossing paths at some point. How would you see that on your perspective? Oh, bro, that, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm always rooting for Salt. I'm always rooting for Salt. He's my brother. So other than that, um, I feel like if Salt, again, stayed being Salt Pappy, stayed being technical and not looking for war, he would do so fucking well. But again with Kenny, Kenny's really technically good. He's technically good, but on fight night, he just, he just, I, I feel like he doesn't have that, 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 that spark to be like, I want it. He did it against Win Winston Nunes, yeah? But other than that, I didn't see the, the edge, the edge that I saw in, in the ring with Winston Nunes. I loved watching King Kenny. He looked sick against Winston. Um, but I don't know. On that fight, I don't know, bro. Well, I mean, it's all, it's all exciting. Like, Mr. X14 is a banger of a card. Um, you know, finally, like, who else are you looking forward to seeing on this card? Because it's stacked. Fuck. Sorry. Sorry for swearing. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, it's, it's all popping off. It's a good car. Oh, Miss and Ryan Taylor. We gotta talk about that. Bro. We gotta talk about. Bro, that. I think it's gonna pop off. The beef is real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like out of all the beefs on Misfits, I feel like that's the real. That, that, that you can't get any real than that, man. I'm gonna put the edge towards Ryan Taylor, only because he's more experienced. That's the only only reason. He's been in the ring. He's know what it feels like. He knows the training. Um. But yeah, you never know what happens on the night. You never fucking know, bro. I mean, is a, it has a passion for boxing himself. I've seen, like, uh, there was one video I've seen where he was hitting the, uh, you know, the uh, punching machine, you know, over 850, bang, 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 like that. I mean, it's going to be a war. Like, I mean, you know, if there was bad blood before, this is going to top it. Yeah, 100%. Um, I feel like if he, imagine if Miss learned a little bit more tech. I think he'll be really fucking good because he's got the structure. He's got the structure, the, the power, you know. I can't, I'm excited to see that. I love a real beef, yeah. you know. I love a real beef. Um, and especially if it's a little bit road, you know what I'm saying? If it's a little bit road, I love it. Um, but yeah, it's exciting. It's yeah, exciting. I can, I can see like the sort of connects there. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. yeah. Where, you know, things like kind of pick up on the, on the, on the streets. Oh, you know? oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I mean, small is it's small Spartan Jay. It's been an absolute pleasure to always see you, bro. Uh, always a pleasure. Is there is there a message you want to send to your fans? Um, you know, you know, obviously when you when you come back, what do you want to say to your fans out there? Um, I just want to say to my fans, thank you for supporting me and thank you for for screaming my name, even though you saw me on the canvas, man. Um, I really appreciate you guys, and there's nothing more that I can ask from you guys. But just stay tuned, keep watching my fights, and you're gonna see a major, major, major comeback. And you know when he talks like that, there's no messing around. And also, also, anyone that's 125 out there, anyone that's 125, let's have it. Let's have it. I don't think there's anyone that's in one, one 125 that will get in there, get in the ring with me and basically win. There's no one. There's no one. Name me someone. Come on. And you heard it from the man himself. Get, get, get this category set up and let's have some fights running. Jay, always a pleasure, brother.